I keep gawking. I'm sure most people take this stuff for granted, but it's all new to me. It's kind of thrilling. And those monitors in the lobby boggled my mind at first. Like, hey, something's moving in the wall. It's annoying forgetting so much stuff sometimes, but at least one plus side is getting to experience basic things like they're new. Uh, I'm still working on jogging my memory, of course. I haven't forgotten that. I was just thinking. I sure hope the stuff I've forgotten isn't all bad. A new Divergence Matrix has been born. This positive turn of events exhibits the significance of your actions. I and we profess a thousand gratitudes. We comprehend that this is no straightforward path, and yet I relied on you nonetheless. The one who repaid that trust is you. Your will answered. That is why I am grateful. And I hope you will pardon me for needing to depend on you time and time again. one-kill type. But I prefer it that way. That's the way it should be. I mean, they're enemies, right? I gotta make sure they suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer. That's why I'm such a gun nut. Big guns, small guns, any and all guns. I don't play favorites so long as they make things suffer. I noticed you recoiling. Was it something I said? Hey, how are things? Getting the hang of combat now? Uh, what was your class again? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter when you can be anything. It must be nice being able to change your photon class aptitude as it suits you. Say, what do I look like to you? Do I look like a hunter? And truth be told, my photon class aptitude skews ranger. I insisted on being a hunter anyway, but it ain't easy being a class you're not meant for. I admit, I kind of envy your sheer amount of options. But hey, no use whining about being a have-not. I'll keep doing what I can do. You say I could just go back to being a ranger? <laughs> yeah, sure could. But I wouldn't be able to protect some people if I did. It's gotta be hunter or bus for me. Man, why does it feel like all I ever do is gripe when I talk to you? Sorry about that. It's strange, though. How come it feels so right? Oh, it's been quite some time. Me? This is merely a scratch. It's nothing for you to concern yourself over. If you seek Master Gedimhalt, he has already gone ahead. What about him? You say that's a cruel way to treat a friend? What does that mean exactly? Are you mocking me? I would never presume to be Master Gedimholt's friend. Even suggesting such a thing is absurd. Excuse me, I've said too much. Please forget all of this. Don't trouble yourself worrying about me. Proceed as normal. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait! Don't go! Hadrid! Damn it! I have to hurry and catch him. You don't get in my way. I don't need healing. It's more important that I... I have to... put an end to him. To Hadrid. Sorry. I lost my cool for a second there. I don't sense him in the surrounding area. Continuing the search here would be useless. I'm withdrawing. Excuse me. You might be better off waiting a bit longer if you're going past here. Don't let me stop you, though. Don't worry, those are from Arcs. They'll get tired of it and leave any second now. I swear, that idiot doesn't know the meaning of the word restraint. Not that it's my problem, of course. The noise has died down. It should be safe to go on now, I think. Good luck. Hey, Bonehead! Yeah, you there, the Bonehead! I'm bored, so talk to me! Huh, have we met? I can swear we have. My memory's hazy, but meh, what do I care? Hmm? The enemies around here? Oh, I blew them all up! Blasted the lot of them to smithereens! And I ain't gonna stop there! Nothing's a match for me and Clarissa! We'll blow everything away! I get worn out and drowsy when I overdo it, so I try to blow up things in moderation, of course! From what she says, it ain't time for me to really show my stuff yet! So, I'm just warming up until then. But man, this is fun! I wonder what it'll be like when I go all out! What kind of havoc am I gonna wreak? What? You're surprised I don't know already? Of course I don't! I've never gone all out before! Have you ever gone all out, Bonehead? I mean, like, all out? Like, given literally everything? Huh. If you have, then how are you still alive? Are you messing with me, Bonehead? Whatever, I'm done talking. I'm hankering for a fight again. Watch me blow him up with just a fraction of my power! Hmm? That outfit... Are you an ARX operative? Wow, that's awesome! Oh, sorry. My name's Ulk. I always looked forward to being an ARX operative, you know? So I couldn't help but ask. I say looked forward in past tense because... I didn't make the cut. Apparently, I don't have the ability to manipulate photons. It's really a shame. But there's nothing I can do. Being an Arx is no joke, so I won't force them to accept me. Honestly, I'll get over it. I'm more worried about my friend, though. He's so introverted and timid. But something suddenly made him fixated on becoming an Arx operative. And it turns out he does have the talent. So now he's joined Arx all by himself. It's horrible! Will he really be okay by himself? He hardly comes to see me anymore. I'm just... kinda worried about him.
Mark! Oh, it's just you. The one from Arcs. Phew. I figured you were an enemy. That's a bullet dodged. It's just... I'm not exactly the biggest fan of fighting. I only joined Arcs because I happened to have the aptitude, and because it was the in thing to do. Uh, honestly, this scary stuff is beyond me. <laughs> I wonder if it's too late to back out. Probably, huh? Huh. Eh, sorry you had to hear all that. I guess I'd better get going. What do you want? Are you here to mock me? Hmm, say what you will. My name is Zig. I used to be a master swordsmith, but I'm already dried up at a mere 75 years old. Fashion or creativity used to come to me as easily as breathing, but now, nothing. My heart trembled at the decisive battle 40 years ago. Then again, during the fight for our lives ten years ago. <laughs> for me, there is nothing more exciting than large-scale combat. But, now that the front line has died down, my enthusiasm has died down with it. Part of me still wants to make weapons, but even now, I have my pride as a craftsman. I refuse to make anything half-hearted. Sorry, I didn't mean to grumble. For some reason, I find you very easy to open up to. Would you indulge me about one last thing? If you ever come across something that could stoke the fires of my creativity again, I'd like you to bring it to me. It should be something inspirational, something breathtaking. Hey, hey! It's me, Patty, the most informed informant of all the ARCS Ops, in top form once again. Is that so? Because it didn't look like you got much useful information to me. That's all in the past. My eyes are on the future. Oh, but I did get to know an old man I found hanging out in the break room. He said he used to make weapons. Pretty cool, right? That must be Zig. He's a famous master swordsmith. For the most informed informant, I'm surprised you didn't already know who he was. I'm not into that sort of thing. Is that so? Zig the Master Swordsmith is a hard-headed old man who's been a major weapons maker for 40 years. But lately, he hasn't been making anything. It's too bad. People used to say that one day he would make a weapon on par with the Cosmogenic Arms. But I guess that'll never happen now. Uh, what are Cosmogenic Arms again? Are those like the first swords that were ever made or something? That's right. They were prototypes made with no expense spared, but ended up being so powerful, they were nigh unusable. The weapons we use now are basically toned-down versions of them. But this old man can still make them, huh? Wow, he's really impressive! Uh, no, he's never made one of those. Instead of talking all the time, maybe you should try listening for a change. Don't sweat the small stuff. Come on, this has been pretty educational for you too, right? Man, if he's that amazing, maybe I should have him make a weapon for me! You mean the same old man who hasn't been making anything for anyone lately? Are you an ARCS operative? Perhaps you've come to take on my request. Thank you very much. You're truly doing me a great service. 
I'm currently studying the structure of planets, but the one planet I'm lacking data on is Navarius. I had assumed there would be more information on it, considering it's the first planet every ARCS member goes to. It's quite strange. Ah, apologies. I get a little carried away. My name is Rogio, by the way. My request is simple. I'd like you to conduct a geological survey of Navarius. I'm partly curious about its structure, but to be perfectly honest, I'm doing this because my intuition is telling me I must. It's incredibly strange that its tropical forest transitions so suddenly into a tundra. We can't deny that it clearly exists, and yet, something about it just doesn't make sense. The fact that we don't have any data on such a strange phenomenon almost makes me wonder if someone's hiding something. Oh, I'm sorry. A scholar like myself shouldn't make such a big deal out of a mere theory. The first rule of being a good scientist is, if something is suspicious, investigate it. So I think we'll learn a lot from a good look around. I'm sorry to ask you to go to so much trouble, but I hope you'll lend me a hand. I was close. Hey! I was curious, so I started following you. So what's going on here? Are they... from Arcs? Yeah, it's your job to look up things like that. Uh, um, just ran a complete search. L let's see what we've got. W what do you mean, no hits? Hey, you! State your name and affiliation. <laughs> Are you ignoring me? With that stupid mask? Lose it, you creep. Get in my way, and I'll kill you. <sighs> well, all right. Guess we're gonna do this the hard way, then.
you're wide open! Whoa there! You chipped my sword, but you aren't looking so hot either. Damn you! Whew, that was nuts! Hey, you okay there? You've got some stamina, leaping into a brawl right then and there. Props. So, was that masked joker after that junk you're holding? You heard a weird noise. I didn't. Neither did I. No. No, I didn't. I didn't pick up anything either. Well, save it for the lobby. Now let's get out of here. Hey, you got the data you wanted. Uh, right, Professor? Yes. I have plenty. But how did you know what my request was? Yeah, well, you know how it is. A senior's always got to know everything their junior's up to. Except I'm the one who looked it up. Ugh, don't blow my cover. Come on, what's Mosey? 